so famous? The Mona Lisa is arguably one of the most famous paintings in the world. The subject's faint smile and haunting eyes have fascinated people for centuries. For decades, artists and art lovers alike have studied the Mona Lisa in an attempt to understand what makes this painting of da Vinci's so much more popular than his other surviving works. Since the late 1400s, there has never been a painting to earn a more well-known reputation. But how did it achieve its status? Leonardo is thought to have started the portrait in 1503 at the request of a Florentine businessman who wanted a portrait of his wife, Lisa Gardini. Leonardo continued working on the painting for more than 10 years, but it was unfinished by the time he died. Over his lifetime, Leonardo conducted groundbreaking studies on human optics, which led him to pioneer certain artistic techniques. Some can be seen in the Mona Lisa. Using atmospheric perspective, he made images at greater distances, hazier, producing the illusion of profound depth. And with Sumato, he created subtle gradations between colors that soften the edges of the forms he depicted. All of this is striking, but is it enough to make the Mona Lisa the world's most famous painting? Many scholars consider it an outstanding Renaissance portrait, but one among plenty. And history is full of great paintings. Indeed, the Mona Lisa's rise to worldwide fame depended largely on factors beyond the canvas. King Francois I of France purchased the painting and began displaying it after Leonardo's death. Then in 150, Italian scholar Giorgio Vasari published a popular biography of Italian Renaissance artists, Leonardo included. The book was translated and distributed widely, and it contained a gushing description of the Mona Lisa as a hypnotic imitation of life. Over the years, the Mona Lisa became one of the most enviable pieces in the French royal collection. It hung on Napoleon's bedroom and eventually went on public display in the Louvre Museum. There, visitors flocked to see the once private treasures of the deposed aristocracy. During the 1800s, a series of European scholars further hyped the Mona Lisa up, fixating to a conspicuous degree on the subject's allure. In 1854, Alfred Duminil said that Mona Lisa's smile imparted a treacherous attraction. A year later, Théophile Gautier wrote of her mocking lips and gaze promising unknown pleasures. And in 1869, Walter Peter described Mona Lisa as the embodiment of timeless feminine beauty. By the 20th century, the portrait was an iconic piece in one of the world's most famous museums. But the Mona Lisa wasn't yet a household name. It was Perugia's 1911 heist that helped it skyrocket to unprecedented fame. Having been contracted to make protective cases for the Louvre, it wasn't totally inconceivable for Perugia to be locked inside the museum. And lucky for him, when a workman encountered him in the stairwell, he simply helped Perugia open the door and let him walk out into the morning. The theft made international headlines. People gathered to see the blank space where the Mona Lisa once hung. The police interviewed Perugia because he had worked at the Louvre, but they never considered him a suspect. Meanwhile, they interrogated Pablo Picasso because of his connection to a previous Louvre theft, but eventually let him go. For two years, Perugia kept the painting in a false bottom suitcase, then smuggled the Mona Lisa to Italy and arranged to sell it to a Florentine art dealer. Perugia saw himself as an Italian patriot returning an old master's work, but instead of being celebrated as such, he was immediately arrested. With the mystery solved, the Mona Lisa went back on display to large crowds, and newspapers took the story for a victory lap. In the following decades, conceptual artist Marcel Duchamp mocked it, Nazi art thieves pursued it, Nat King Cole sang about it, and museum goers wielding stones, paint, acid, and teacups attacked it. More than 500 years after its creation, eyebrows and eyelashes long since faded. The Mona Lisa is protected by a bulletproof, earthquake-safe case. Now it stands perhaps less as an exemplary Renaissance portrait and more as a testament to how we create and maintain celebrity. The Mona Lisa was stolen one fateful time, but there is an artwork so coveted and influential that it's been hijacked over a dozen times, including once by the Nazis. Get to know its high-drama, mystery-packed, 6th-century spanning story with this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Celebrity Research to receive all of our latest videos. Thanks for watching. If you're hungry for more, why not check out our next video?